let me know once it is uh, recording is enabled so we can get started yeah recording is now enabled mm -hmm. i'll just share my screen uh, uh, can you see my deck yes it says save series yes yeah well uh, good morning uh, good evening good afternoon to all of you uh, and whichever time zone that you are on uh, i am mahendra hote and uh, thanks to niladri for uh, having this platform wherein uh, between niladri and i we would want to just share our knowledge on the scaled agile uh, framework so as uh, niladri mentioned i am also an uh, spc so since i learned a lot uh from the open source forums from youtubes and uh, with all the mentors that i have been working with so it is imperative that i give back to the it's, e it's echoing from someone probably people you can go on mute is it better now niladri how's it now No, no, that's fine. Continue, please. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, it's, so it's imperative that we give give back our knowledge to the community and grow as a community. So that is the whole intent. So, as uh, Niladri mentioned, this is uh, totally uh, free of cost, and it is just that uh, we as a community need to grow and uh, learn together. So it's both uh, both ways. Uh, by having these sessions it's a learning experience for us as well so and i know it's a weekend uh, and so it's a weekend for all of us but nevertheless uh, a continuous learning is should be our motto so that is what i firmly believe in so that's why all of uh, these sessions are there so as so as neil so just a quick introduction of me so uh, people from the cricketing world would understand this this was my first innings i started uh, my career with the indian air force uh, way back in 94 uh, was with the indian air force for 6 years as an engineer and uh, made a shift rebooted my career as a software engineer in my second nx played the role of a developer project lead project manager program manager and then um, moved on to be a scrum master and now performing as a agile coach uh that's a brief introduction of uh, me on the technical side and uh, this is what i'm passionate about i do have a youtube uh, channel of mine wherein i post um, all my learnings and uh, it's a way of giving back to the community from my side uh, and uh, this is what i firmly believe in as i mentioned sharing knowledge and uh, once anyone stops learning we literally start dying and i firmly believe in teamwork this is a famous photograph from southern part of india it is known as a nehru cup so it's a boat race uh, so it doesn't matter uh, uh, we might not recognize any one of them but as a team they can win uh, otherwise they cannot so i firmly believe in teamwork that's a quick introduction of uh, me okay so let's see what is it in uh, store for all of you guys as uh, niladri mentioned and as it was mentioned in the uh, mailer this will be a series of sessions so we are planning to conduct it every 3 weeks so it would be a 3 week sprint if you can call it as uh, two would look uh, very short because we do have our day jobs and we do have our lives and other work to do so two weeks would look very short and four weeks look would look uh, literally too very long it's a month long ahead type of a thing so we are looking at a three week uh, a sprint so every three weeks we'll have uh, one session like this that is happening uh, today today is the overview so we'll uh, go through the overview today and uh, the second session would be about what do we mean by dual operating uh, system in the uh, scaled agile framework what are the seven core competencies to achieve business agility and uh, we are building the basics 
So in the first uh, two, three sessions, we are building the basics of what a scaled agile framework is all about. And uh, the third one would be about uh, what are the safe core values, uh, lean and agile mindset, the house of lean. And we all know the agile manifesto, the four values and the principles of the agile manifesto, but uh, how does it uh, scale? So we'll talk about that in the third session. And uh, the, there are 10 lean agile principles on which uh, scaled agile framework is based upon. Since there are 10 principles, uh, uh, it would require two settings. So the first and the second would be covered in the two settings. And anyone who's not talking uh, request you to go on mute. Uh, Michelle uh, uh, Maritato, I guess you're not on mute or someone. So I request you to go on mute and thank you. And uh, now once the foundation is set in, so uh, basics are sunk in, so we would uh, head towards what does it mean by essential safe configuration. So once again, it requires uh, two settings. Uh, we'll have essential safe uh, configuration part one and part two. And uh, we generally get in all of our interactions, we get to hear, uh, get to um, uh, get participants uh, asking us a doubt on how do we prioritize and, and uh, uh, prioritize the epics, the stories and things like that. So there's a wonderful technique known as weighted shortest job first. Uh, in brief, it is known as WSJF. We'll talk about WSJF in one session. Uh, and PA planning and uh, PA execution, which is the heartbeat of uh, a scaled agile framework, that would require a full one session uh, to explain what PA planning is all about, how do we do PA planning, and uh, what are the preparation work that happens, and how do you go about executing the PI. All of that we'll talk about in one. That would probably cover the, um, anyone who's not talking would request you to go on mute, Rudra, thank you. Uh, that would cover the essential part of it. Then uh, we'll see what is a large solution uh, safe, then portfolio safe and uh, finally the full safe. And uh, finally probably to wrap up with would be the implementation roadmap. This is the tentative plan that uh, between Niladri and I have in mind. But nevertheless, if any one of you have got any uh, suggestions and if you want us to cover something in any other order or anything that you want to add, delete, most welcome. Uh, we are pretty much uh, uh, agile in yeah, that aspect. And one also. topic that we are actually still in discussion uh, that we may put one session uh, where we'll be talking about how you can configure scaled agile within Jira because there was a, oh, uh, many demand uh, coming up for that one so that we may also include. Yeah, probably we can do that. So anything, we are open for suggestion. So anything that you guys want us to share on, we are absolutely open. So that is what is in store for you. So uh, the benefit is in you being with us uh, through the series. Uh, and it is, uh, it is once again a win-win situation. The more you participate, the more we learn and the more you guys done. So it is just, a, a, it works both ways. Uh, so that is what uh, the series that we have in mind. Uh, and if you got any suggestions, you can uh, get in touch with Niladri uh, uh, offline and give any suggestions open for that. Okay, so let's get uh, started. Uh, what is SAFE? What is Scaled Agile Framework? It is primarily built on the four bodies of knowledge, which is on agile development. We all are expected to know what is the agile development is all about. Agile is just not about uh, how uh, the proper, uh, popular myth is. Uh, when we say agile, it, uh, people think that it's only scrum. So what is, uh, uh, so we are expected to know, that is a basic foundation. Before we before we scale, we, at least we should know our, before we build a building, the foundation should be clear. The foundation of SAFE is Agile. So uh, it is built on the Agile uh, development and the holistic systems thinking approach. And the lean concepts are also baked in. So lean product development is one of the bodies of knowledge on which uh, SAFE is based on. And of course, uh, the end thing is DevOps, where how do we get the development 
when I say development, it is just not the developers, the engineering team, which actually builds the product and the operations team. How do we get both of them work together? So these are the four bodies of knowledge that have contributed uh, on which uh, SAFE is uh, based on. And what is, what is in it for an organization to move to SAFE? What are the answers that these, uh, the SAFE provide? So SAFE talks about how do we align the technology development. Once again, when you say development, it is just not development, it is building a product towards the strategic uh, business goals. Uh, whatever we are building, if it, is, if it is not aligned with the strategic business goals, then it is of no use. So how do we uh, uh, align the technology development to the strategic business goals? It answers that question. And the main thing is how do we deliver value in a predictable schedule? That is important. The two keywords over here. How do we deliver value in a predictable schedule? That is one. Uh, so that is one um, thing that uh, this question answers. And of course, uh, to be uh, uh, so that the businesses can plan only if there's predictability, the business can plan. So that is what Safe uh, provides the answers to. And of course, how do we build quality? So. Uh, uh, how do we improve quality? So here we talk about quality cannot be tested. Quality has to be inbuilt. So say answers that question. And yes, if it's a 10 member scrum team and things like that, so it's okay, it's easy to work with the 10 member. But what happens if it is hundreds of teams? How do we scale up the agile practices at an enterprise level? It answers those questions. Um, and how do we create an environment which uh, fosters collaboration, you know, innovation, and uh, relentless improvement for our people? So what are the concepts that are baked in into SAFE, which uh, provides uh, these aspects of collaboration, innovation, and improvement? It answers that question. And failure is a good thing. It might sound very uh, odd. What safe believes in is fail fast, fail cheap. And there should be a safe environment to fail because that is where the learning happens. If there are experiments, experiments are bound to fail and it, people should feel safe to fail. It talks about how do we, uh, it answers that question as to how do we create that uh, ecosystem or that environment. And the, in this VUCA world, VUCA, we all know what VUCA is, volatile, uh, ambiguous, uncertain, and um, uh, complex. The, uh, complex world. So we know the VUCA world. So in this VUCA world, it's important to take risks and to think different. So uh, how do we enable or encourage our people to uh, do that? And it's more important for the leaders to provide an ecosystem and get out of the way. So that's what, uh, that, that's the answers that this framework gives. Well, so this is what uh, SAFE is all about. And why SAFE? So yeah, what are the benefits that uh, we reap out of, uh, when I say we, what is the benefit that the enterprises uh, uh, can expect by moving into the uh, scaled agile way of working. We have mastered the uh, Scrum, uh, the Kanban, and the uh, XP ways of working, the fundamentals of agile development. Now, how do we scale it up? So what are the business results that we can expect? So this is, uh, and by the way, all this uh, is available on the scaled agile framework uh, website. So uh, uh, all the material is picked up from there. It's out there and for you to go, you guys to go and read. What, based on the various case studies and the customer feedback that is received. So it is seen that there's anywhere between 20 to 50% increase in productivity of the teams. So productivity 
how do we measure productivity productivity is not that okay today a developer is uh, writing 100 lines of code uh, he'll start uh, uh, writing 200 lines of code no that's not what uh, we understand by productivity so how do we measure productivity so uh, the customers have seen 20 to 50 percent increase in productivity quality quality is paramount as uh, high as 75 percent uh, reduction in uh, uh, defects and time to market this is paramount if we don't if we are not there my competitor will be there and capture my market so time to market as paramount anywhere between 30 to 50, 75 percent uh, time to market and it is very very important to have a happy employees motivated employees so it is seen that uh, by adopting safe framework uh, the companies have uh, the case studies have shown that the uh, employees are much more happier uh, in the in this way of working this is what is the benefit that we can expect that the enterprises can expect by moving to the uh, scaled agile uh, framework well, so this is a brief uh, journey of uh, what uh, SAFE is all about. Uh, it started somewhere in 2011 from SAFE 1.0 to currently what we are at uh, SAFE uh, 5.0. And uh, Scaled Agile Framework, they are also evolving. So uh, as you can see, uh, it has made a drastic change from what it was in 2011. In fact, I got introduced to SAFE way back in uh, SAFE 3.0 and I uh, when I picked up and uh, did my certification again in say 4.6 there was a drastic difference now I'm in, uh, certified in say 5.0 so safe is also evolving uh, this is the journey of what uh, safe is all about yeah by the way uh, I don't know whether uh, Niladri has mentioned about this towards the end of this uh, hour we have a short quiz yeah, Neela, you might want to talk about it. Yeah. I forgot to mention about it. Yeah, so uh, based on whatever we are talking on these slides, based on those slides, we'll be having a 10 minute squeeze of uh, 10 questions. And uh, whoever will get uh, the maximum score, they will get a 50% discount on all the trainings, non certification trainings we provide from Agile Digest. So we'll uh, once we'll reach to the end, we'll talk about more about the details. So please focus on what exactly the uh, point and, and that uh, Mahindra is covering. Yeah, thanks, uh, Niladri. So um, and if I'm going a bit fast, you might might you might want to ask me to so, slow down. I know we have got a exactly a hard stop at one hour. So and uh, I'll try to keep some time aside for questions towards the end. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to answer them. If not, uh, we have the series available. You can uh, post your questions and we'll make sure that all of your questions are answered in the subsequent sessions. Yeah, moving on. So this is what is uh, the uh, Scaled Agile Framework website is there. The moment you go to this website, it's really... Uh, uh, I would say it's daunting. It's a, you, you don't know where to start from. So each and every icon out here is an hyperlink. Clicking on that will take you to the articles where you can read a lot about uh, this particular concept. So I don't know, I've not counted, Neeladri, I don't know whether you have counted anywhere between uh, 200 to 300 uh, links would be there in this, 200 to 300 are, it's a huge body of knowledge. It's a, it's a, it's a huge body of knowledge. So what we are helping you to do over here is uh, free of cost is helping you to navigate through this and make it easier for you to understand and uh, uh, take your next steps uh, accordingly. So this is the safe configuration. Uh, uh, so you, here it, it talks about the overview and uh, uh, this talks about what is the essential safe large solution safe, portfolio safe, and full safe, what I was mentioning about. And this section is known as the foundation. And this section is known as the spanning palette. And these are the core, uh, seven core principles. Just a brief on how the- uh, Competencies. Yeah, uh, seven competencies. So yeah. this is a brief on how 
the uh, website is laid out and you don't if it is really daunting and uh, if you're confused uh, uh, don't worry uh, by the end of this series you'll be thorough and you'll be comfortable in navigating through this uh, entire uh, uh, website okay coming back to the so let's see what are the seven core competencies uh, that uh, safe is built on the first is the lean and agile leadership uh, it is very important for the leaders to have that mindset the lean and agile mindset which is all about empowering individuals and team and uh, leading by example into this new ways of working when we say new ways of working the erstwhile ways of working uh, of uh, uh, yearly release or uh, mega releases doesn't work anymore in this uh, uh, new world so what are the new ways of working and the result is more about having engaged employees increased product increase productivity innovation so to have all of this the leaders play an important role so this competency talks about um, lean and uh, lean agile leadership and continuous learning culture it's very important for us uh, to continuously learn so it's very easier said than done uh, so i've seen companies uh, blocking each one of our calendars uh, every uh, week one hour with uh, learning hour and things like that it doesn't happen that way it's a culture that has to be uh, embraced by the enterprise and an organization how do we go about doing it so it is it talks about uh, continuous learning culture and as yes, team and technical agility is paramount the process can take us only to that level uh, however it is the engineering aspects oh, that creates high performing agile agile teams and with uh, top notch uh, quality solutions and that internally uh, 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 intrinsically increases productivity and has better quality and faster time to market and things like that and of course deliver value in a predictable manner only when you have team and technical agility all of this can uh, happen so the com this competency talks about all of that and as agile product delivery is all about a customer centric approach of defining building and releasing a continuous flow of valuable products this is very important a continuous flow of valuable products and services uh, this is what Uh, this competency talks about which is the agile product delivery and don't worry uh, I, i think in the next session we are going over these uh, seven competencies in greater detail so since this is just a overview i'm just brushing you uh, uh, through that through these next is on the enterprise solution delivery so how do we uh, build enterprise level products so which uh involves hundreds of teams how do we go about doing it this competency this is all about enterprise solutions um, um, which which requires uh, um hundreds of teams to participate and deliver value and yes a continuous learning is a culture so this is how do we encourage individuals and as an enterprise as a whole to be on the quest of continuously increasing our knowledge competency performance and moving towards innovation this talks about that and the lean portfolio management is all about how do we align this strategy and execution by applying the lean and agile systems thinking uh, at the strategy and the investment funding level as well and at the governance level as well so this competency talks about uh, these aspects so safe is based on these uh, seven four uh, seven core competencies good evening mahendra sorry to interrupt you yeah santosh uh, can you just pre- go back to previous slide continuous uh, learning has been repeated twice in the first slide and the second slide also oh thank you organization or organization yeah, agility organization repeated. agility yeah yeah I, i missed it sorry sorry uh, that's what i was wondering something is wrong thanks for uh, bringing it uh, santosh so probably i can just uh, 
uh, this is the organization agility is the one that was missing thanks for bringing it uh, santosh so this talks about how do we uh, the organization uh, how do you bring about the agility at the organization level uh, thanks uh, santosh that's a typo that's what i was wondering i was missing something but uh, anyway so now as i mentioned this is foundation so what all is in that foundation so as i mentioned uh, having a lean agile leaders is fundamental so it is the responsibility of the uh, um, leaders uh, to take the organization in the uh, right path so the leaders get trained in safe and they literally become uh, trainers and we expect them to become a lean and thinking manager teachers so that is what is expected i as a leader would undergo all this uh, uh, trainings and understand the lean and agile concepts and i should be able to lead my teams in this thought process so that is foundation that is fundamental and safe is built on these four core values alignment built in quality transparency and uh, uh, program execution built in quality so unfortunately uh, most of the thing most of us believe that in the it industry quality is resting with the testers and the quality is done as an uh, afterthought no here we talk about building in quality so uh, that is one of the core values and of course alignment how do we how do we bring about alignment across the teams and transparency and uh, program execution and this uh, 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 concept lean agile mindset uh, talks about how do we uh, um, create lifelong learners and embrace and foster lean agile principles and it has to be practiced across the enterprise so this for, it's fundamental and as i mentioned um, safe is based on uh, 10 principles Uh, which is uh, on the four bodies of knowledge which is agile methods lean product development devops and systems thinking so these are the 10 principles uh, as i mentioned there will be two uh, we'll break it into two parts and take it in five five each on the uh, safe principles and uh, embarking on the safe journey is just not a is it's not a piece of uh, it's just not a cake walk so it has to have a, a strategic and um, uh, 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 planned and a systematic approach uh, to it so the implementation roadmap talks about uh, that and spcs safe program consultants uh, so these are the change agents which help the uh, enterprises to move towards the uh, scaled agile framework and adopting the scaled agile framework so these are the concepts that would be covered in the foundation part of it we are at 10 o'clock i uh, you know there was a time check that uh, adds up for myself for 30 minutes uh, uh, spanning palette i like nilad you wanted to add something that's okay yeah, yeah. please carry on so spanning palette uh, as i mentioned in the first slide the one which was seen at the right side is known as the spanning palette and there are two things the one which you see here would is part of the essential safe and the rest is part of the uh, full safe as part of the spanning palette uh, it talks about the vision uh, uh, it is about how do we uh, 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 and I, uh, have a vision for this enterprise which uh, reflects the customers and the stakeholders needs and as well as having the features and capabilities which are uh, proposed to address these needs so what are features capabilities will anyway see it uh, over a period of time so the vision talks about all of that and it uh, it has a road map how do we uh, have a road map which communicates the planned uh, art art is agile release train and value stream deliverables and have a milestone over a period of time so the road map talks about all of that and of course milestones uh, we have uh, we how do we set milestones and have a specific goal and event so uh, with a specific uh, fixed date and uh, have a program increment uh, uh, achieve those milestones so this uh, concept talks about all of that shared services so there are certain specific uh, 
roles that are necessary for a success of a, a agile release train or a solution train so we, it could be uh, a very nice skill just to um, maybe a, any uh, system integrators or the configuration management managers or uh, any niche skills from the uh, uh, devops skill set point of view ci cd pipeline those those are the guys so they could be they are not uh, uh, they are pretty costly uh, we need to share them so it talks about um, how do we have shared services and community of practices i'm sure many of you would have your community of practices in your organization it's uh, this concept is all about how do we all of us like minded people get together and help each other and uh, um, for the specific uh, skill set it could you could have a community of practice of scrum masters product owners architects uh, uh, so on and so forth so it talks about that and the systems team so this is the teams which would since we are talking of products at the enterprise level you would have um, uh, you would require a dedicated team which would probably which would take the inputs or the deliverables from each of the uh, teams integrate and do a system level uh, a demo on the system level testing so we have a this concept is all about system team and you have a loon uh, sorry lean uh, ux uh, uh, for the user experience design and it is they once again do a iterative um, uh, hypothesis driven approach towards the product development uh, so we, this is about how do we have a lean uh, ux uh, team and finally matrices matrices are paramount so uh, we don't uh, encourage metrics for the sake of uh, measuring it it should be really adding value to what we do so this is all about the what are the matrices that we'll have and uh, uh, how do we utilize them and work towards uh, self improvement so and these are all configurable it doesn't mean that okay uh, an essential chief uh, the framework has got uh, these three elements it doesn't mean that you can matrices uh, should not be part of essential chief it doesn't mean that way so uh, this is the recommendation and safe is configurable it depends on our context as to whatever that we feel we pick up and uh, we can configure now now let's quickly see what is uh, essential safe is all about as you saw in the um, uh, uh, framework so this is what is essential safe all about this was the one which is the fundamental basic building block is simplest starting point at the uh, scale level um, it is as i mentioned it is built on the three uh, core competencies which is uh, agile uh, product development team and technical agility and uh, lean and agile leadership so it is based based on these three uh, core competencies and you might be asking why uh, the solution delivery is not part of it it doesn't make sense to talk about solution delivery at this level so but but if in your context if it makes sense go ahead and have it there's nothing lean portfolio management is not part of essential so but you should have the knowledge of it and uh, the configuration says that it doesn't make sense to have lean portfolio management at an essential level when we go into the essential safe in detail you'll probably understand uh, Uh, a bit more on it and of course it has got the minimal set of roles so since uh, uh, it is not at that scale it you just require the minimal set of roles however this business solution is confined around an agile release train which is nothing but a team of agile teams so anywhere between uh, 50 to uh, 125 members is what uh, we say is an uh, Uh, agile release train makes a uh, agile release based on the dunbar's uh, number so we, the essential safe is configured uh, around an agile release train to deliver uh, business solutions this is what is agile it's a long lived um, uh, team of agile teams uh, which uh, works as uh, and how different is it so we'll talk about of all of this when we talk about uh, what is essential safe you might be thinking 
today also we develop uh, products and today also we got multiple teams delivering product but how different is an agile team agile release train uh, in the current way in the earth well way of how we are organized we'll uh, talk about all of it when we uh, get into this essential safe in more details moving on uh, uh, we have a large solution safe so large solution so the previous one what you saw is the essential safe there's one agile release train which is good enough or which is um, uh, uh, enough uh, to deliver the value for at an essential uh, uh, safe configuration level but however if you got a really really large solution uh, a single agile release train might not be able to deliver a value so that is where a concept of we call it as a solution train where in multiple agile train agile release trains come together and uh, 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 deliver value one of the core um, uh, values that you saw is alignment how do we get all of these multiple agile release trains aligned on a cadence to deliver value how do we get them into a program execution and deliver value so that is the core value that is there i'm which i'm uh, tying up over here so large solution talks about uh, uh, building a really really large solution which is beyond the scope of uh, 25 to uh, so 150 member team how do we organize all of it and deliver a, a predictable solution that is what uh, large solution safe is all about however as i mentioned it is built on the fundamental of um, uh, agile essential safe uh, and here you would require an additional competency as enterprise solution delivery as you saw the essential safe had these three agile uh, product delivery team and technical agility and lean and agile leadership you need another uh, competency to uh, deliver uh, value at a large scale level so hence uh, the competency of enterprise solution delivery is um, essential over here and as i mentioned a solution trade coordinates the efforts across multiple agile release trains and even suppliers are also a part of it when agile release train is part of my organization while i could be having some other supplier some other vendors also part participating um, uh, to deliver uh, the solution at a scale uh, if, if you are not talking i would request you to go on mute please thank you yeah so uh, the large uh, uh, solution level has multiple uh, as additional roles artifacts and events uh, uh, which is essential to deliver solutions at that uh, large scale level and as you can see you have a full uh, uh, spanning palette that is that would be required to handle the complexities of delivering large solutions and it is here wherein the configurations feel that the connect has to be made back to the enterprise or it can be at a government entity uh, so that is why you see this connection of enterprise to the government out here and once again uh, we'll see uh, this in a bit more detail when we get into the series of talking about um, large uh, solution safe we are at 1010 uh, yeah as i mentioned so this is quite common to see uh, large solution safe being configured for industries like uh, aerospace defense and uh, predominantly where you don't need a portfolio type of a governance portfolio type of governance is not the primary concern out here delivery of a large large solution is the focus not a portfolio governance so that is where uh, a large solution safe configuration would um, help as i may since we talked about portfolio here what is portfolio safe all about this is a configuration for portfolio safe this talks about the competencies that are required to fully enable business agility at the lean uh, uh, enterprise level uh, so what what do we mean uh, let me talk about um, value streams first so the portfolio one agile release train is 
capable of delivering value for a particular value stream so you might require multiple such value streams to deliver or to cater at the portfolio level for example uh, if i give an example of the banking sector your uh, retail banking can be one value stream your um, capital investment can be another value stream or uh, it could be um, uh, uh, investment banking could be another um, uh, value stream so however at the end of the day it is the banking as a uh, portfolio so there will be multiple value streams uh, and uh, which would have much multiple agile release trains catering for a, a particular value stream that is what this uh, uh, talks about here you have at the essential uh, safe level you've got one agile, one agile release train catering for a value stream you will have multiple such value streams operating at the portfolio level and of course Uh, there are three additional competencies that would require which is uh, lean portfolio management which talks about the budgeting in uh, investment and things like that organization agility and uh, continuous uh, learning culture and this is where you see uh, this uh, section of uh, measure and grow is uh, available uh, or uh, it it pops up so this is what is the portfolio safe is all about finally it is a full safe which is the most comprehensive of all of these so once we understand essential large portfolio and uh, we would uh, something which requires all of these portfolio governance is required you require uh, the solution is so so large enough that uh, uh, the uh, that it will require multiple agile reins to operate at uh, uh, in 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 cadence and in alignment to deliver that solution uh, the full safe configuration is there well thank you uh, i think uh, we promised to complete at uh, 45 minutes and here i am uh, at uh, 10:15 ist uh, now we can quickly right. take any questions uh, yeah Five minutes, uh, Niladri. Yeah. Before we, we can take any quiz. questions, and I am also sending the link to give the uh, exercise. Uh, that's a ten minutes exercise on the chat window. I have click on the link so that you can go there and uh, uh, participate on the quiz. Whoever is interested. And by the way, this will be available on my YouTube channel. You can just go to YouTube and search for Mahendra Hote. So post this. Uh, it will be available on my youtube channel for you to refresh and uh, uh, if you want to relook at all of these again at your leisure any questions yes mahendra i have one question if you can answer uh, yes you have uh, been quite uh, i mean in a very effective manner but i have a one question that how to effectively coordinate different activities across across different departments when we are practicing full say how to make this thing effective so that our implementation of safe would be successful yeah so uh, it would require a sulab to be honest uh, uh, anyway we have that uh, we'll be talking about full safe in a lot more detail so it would require a really detailed answer so once we understand what is essential large and uh, portfolio probably you yourself will be able to answer it uh, that is what i i would say so it is too very early for me to answer uh, this question uh, solab okay Because but if you can give a fair idea like most significant i would say the strategies top two strategies at least if uh, based on the real a uh, project experience or years uh, as a safe uh, coach uh, or enterprise coach if you can share your uh, based on your personal experience i think that would be much better any more uh, so 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 when you say probably you like to uh, uh, take you like to bit elaborate a bit more uh, okay, when you okay, say uh, i would i would think in this way suppose if you are implementing safe at a you know at a portfolio or at a whole organizational level you have to set a coordination between the uh, suppose it and non it departments like with your uh, uh, pmo as well as your hr right your finance 
how you do that in actual uh, how you yeah, do yeah. mean what that particular strategy you off to in order to uh, you know streamline across all those uh, excellent now 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 probably i understand your question in a lot uh, detail uh, salab so if you this is a fundamental thing so an agile release train is the heartbeat so how do we get this right so this is the earst well ways of thinking okay there's a, a it department there's an engineering department and to take it a bit more further within the engineering department you have a devops uh, team you have a, a development team you have a system integration team you have a finance so how do we get all of them together and look at it from a customer centric approach so that is where we do uh, uh, we are talking of a value stream and how do we reorganize restructure our entire uh, uh, functions so yes i might be a developer uh, working for a particular functional manager uh, uh, with respect to my reporting but i be part of an agile release train which will be delivering a value for this particular value stream so how do we reorganize ourselves so if you ask me one if you ask me to answer it in one phrase it is all about how do we restructure and reorganize and align ourselves in a particular value stream so the answer would lie in how do we organize ourselves from across the agile release train uh, sulab and niladri if you want to add uh, uh, to what i said that's that's perfectly fine i think <clears throat> sulab yes. did it at least uh, yes. Yes, yes. You, 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 your answer uh, gave me a very, I mean, a, a fair idea about this. So yeah, I, I know it is. More detail. I, I will get in touch with you offline. It's okay. I, I know it is easier said than done. So what I got. uh uh when you when you explain it a bit more further when you asked it at the full safe level i was bit, i was not able to relate but when you right. explained how do we organize the various departments be it finance hr and uh, um uh, the various uh, departments be it uh, testing uh, uh, it uh, production support a multiple organization so that is a fundamental problem that we have we are working in silos and uh, that is where the our actual problem lies in because all of us are working in for our own agenda and for our own, our own if i can use uh, uh, power centers and uh, satisfying our own uh, individual when i say individual or individual uh, power centric or functional agenda while at the cost of uh, the customer so that is where the fundamental problem lies so once that is why the lean Uh, if you see the lean agile leadership so the leadership should understand what does it mean to operate in a, a lean and agile way towards and be customer centric and customer focus and organize around value have a systems thinking so it is easier said than done that is why it is very very important that the uh, leaders in the organization understand uh, these concepts otherwise it will fall flat to be honest Absolutely right. Um, yeah. Uh, any other really? questions? Anyone? Yeah. Anyway, so this is just the start of it. So yeah. So be... <clears throat> maybe uh, Mandra, you can talk about what's our next topic. Uh, I think uh, that will be the better one. Uh, we need to see how people uh, shows their interest on that. yeah so in the next uh, yeah. uh, sitting dhiraj you had something yeah i saw your yeah yeah, uh, yeah my uh, just wanted to uh, this was like uh, i have a brief idea about safe i have to work on it so just uh, a small question uh, like it's written safe implement configuration so is it some tools or is it only the only the organization organizing the different portfolios and different uh, entities within those portfolios or is it are we supposed to implement something because Excellent. as as we, as we deliver it i i can understand xp i can understand, understand program backlogs i can understand art those things i i am aware of it 
but uh, implementing safe means uh, are we supposed what to does it mean yeah uh, are you supposed to buy a tool and implement it what, what does exactly. it actually mean yeah yeah so uh, we we cover it in a detail in what is the implementation roadmap uh, diraj okay. so to answer it in a uh, nutshell no it is not that i buy a tool out of the uh, uh, off the shelf and uh, uh, implement into the tool it is it is that it doesn't mean that way it is a Correct. body of knowledge so when you say uh, quite a few of you would be pmp and pmi cp certified when you Correct. say uh, uh, project management when you know the pm bok and if you are pmp certified so it is all about how do you execute a project execute okay so that is what is pmp all about mm -hmm. here how, what does it require to deliver so okay let me put it this way we all know how to deliver okay a 10 member scrum team uh, can deliver value so it is probably a mobile app that we need to develop i know it's a 10 member development team when i say development a team which is building it including developers testers and all so it's fine but if you're talking of a big solution like an uh, retail banking how do we organize ourselves in a customer centric way and bring in alignment continuously deliver and reap the benefit of what the 10 member team can do what the 10 member team can do at a large uh, scale level how do we scale up the agile practices so for that you need some structure so you, you need some uh, madness uh, to the chaos so this structure so that's what i if you um, uh, recollect essential safe doesn't as per the safe recommendation matrices is not part of the spanning palette but it doesn't mean that when we are doing essential safe we don't have to do matrices you can configure and you can pick up whatever is described in the matrices part of it you can imbibe it there's no one that is stopping you so it is a body of knowledge which is freely available and we as spcs are supposed to be specialist uh, in helping you to organize the entire organization across this and deliver a incremental continuous value at scale okay got it hmm? yeah oh, i think thanks. we don't have uh, any time for yeah. further questions uh, yeah uh, so <clears throat> if anyone doesn't... have any questions you can actually drop us a mail mahendra is also in our telegram group if you can post your question in our telegram group uh, there will be larger audience also and me or mahendra definitely will be able to reply you back if it is a short one otherwise you uh, we can have those discussed in our next session as well i think next I... sessions we are having something on a dual operating system mahendra correct dual operating system yeah that yeah. would be so so in the next session we'll be talking about uh, dual mm -hmm. operating system seven core competencies of the business agility we'll go a bit deeper into it and i would prefer we talking it out so honestly speaking this is only that much that we can uh, communicate in the chat so i would request you note down your questions and uh, be engaged with uh, these conversations and believe me it's a learning experience for all of us It is not that it's a huge body of knowledge. We also benefit from the questions that you guys ask, and it's a win-win situation. Be part of this journey, and let's uh, collectively learn. All right, I think that will be great, Mahendra, uh, for uh, taking us through on uh, the overview of Safe, and I believe uh, we will be publishing soon for all the possible areas you can share with your known people about our next uh, session. That will be most probably we will be doing. Let me just quickly check the calendar. Uh, I think after ninth, sixteenth um, of January, we can plan it. so i just need to check uh, all the availabilities uh, and we'll uh, look into that uh, mahendra is that the dates coming up 26 or uh, 16th or 9th which one will be coming uh, we need 3 think... weeks right 1 2 3 uh, yeah 9th 9th of january i think we can do it 9th of january we can do it yeah yeah 9th yeah. of january same time i know it's yeah, a weekend but uh, nevertheless uh, whatever we preach we need to apply to ourselves uh, continuous learning is part of should be part of our culture right. as as any of the people who believe in the agile ways of working 
Yeah, I am actually uh, in between of a safe certification workshop and I took a pause from there, started this webinar. So I have a hard stop now. So we'll connect once again with everyone and uh, we, we hope that we'll see you in our next webinar where we'll be talking about dual operating systems, seven core competencies. And if you have any questions, definitely you can mail us, you can drop the questions in Telegram group and uh, we'll definitely try to respond to that. Till that time, everyone have a wonderful Nilandri, day. Nilandri, Nilandri yeah. and uh, Mahindra, like what about the quiz? Uh... Yeah, quiz, I already sent the link on the chat window. Yeah, the link. but yeah, the, but there is no quiz as such. There is only the uh, Agile Digest uh, account. I mean, the uh, website it, it is getting need, opened. No, no, it needs to be logged in. So I think uh, two or three people already have submitted also the quiz. Okay, okay. Because I logged in because I had an account for Agile Digest. Yeah, uh, I so it. I have not made it as anonymous because when I'm saying that there is a prize for the highest scorer, so I cannot capture that if people give that exam anonymously. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine. Yeah. Got it. Right. You can give it anytime before tomorrow. I will close okay. that by tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, Great. Sir. Then thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank, thank you, everyone. You, have a nice uh, day. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.